Good morning and a very warm welcome to Wednesday Online Alma Morning Prayer on Wednesday the 8th of March and today it's our privilege to be praying for the Diocese of, for, the, for Angola and for the Diocese of the Good Shepherd. It's very good to have your company this morning. If you don't know me, I'm Sheena Burrell, the Alma Coordinator in London and it's one of the privileges each week when we get together like this online across Angola, London and Mozambique to pray for each other and for our partnership. Shall we pray? O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O oh Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory for ever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit, and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God. Father, Son and Holy Spirit, blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. Our psalm for today is Psalm 35. Give me justice, O Lord my God, according to your righteousness. Contend, O Lord, with those that contend with me. Fight against those that fight with me. Take up shield and buckler and rise up to help me. Draw the spear and bar the way against those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let those who seek after my life be shamed and disgraced. Let those who plot my ruin fall back and be put to confusion. Let them be as chaff before the wind, with the angel of the Lord thrusting them down. Let their way be dark and slippery, with the angel of the Lord pursuing them. For they have secretly spread a net for me without a cause. Without any cause they have dug a pit for my soul. Let ruin come upon them unawares. Let them be caught in the net they laid. Let them fall in it to their destruction. Then will my soul be joyful in the Lord and glory in his salvation. My very bones will say, Lord, who is like you? You deliver the poor from those that are too strong for them, the poor and the needy from those who would despoil them. False witness rose up against me. They charged me with things I knew not. They rewarded me evil for good. To the desolation of my soul, but as for me, when they were sick, I put on sackcloth and humbled myself with fasting. When my prayer returned empty to my bosom, it was as though I grieved for my friend or brother. I behaved as one who mourns for his mother, bowed down and brought very low. But when I stumbled, they gathered in delight. They gathered together against me. As if they were strangers I did not know, they tore at me without ceasing. When I fell, they mocked me. They gnashed me with their teeth. O oh Lord, how long will you look on? Rescue my soul from their ravages and my poor life from the young lions. I will give you thanks in the great congregation. I will praise you in the mighty throng. Do not let my treacherous foes rejoice over me. 
or those who hate me without a cause mock me with their glances, for they do not speak of peace, but invent deceitful schemes against those that are quiet in the land. They opened wide their mouth and denied me, saying, We have seen it with our very eyes. This you have seen, O Lord, do not keep silent. Go not far from me, O Lord. Awake, arise to my cause, to my defence, my God and my Lord. Give me justice, O Lord my God, according to your righteousness. Let them not triumph over me. Let them not say to themselves our heart's desire. Let them not say we have swallowed him up. Let all who rejoice at my trouble be put to shame and confusion. Let those who boast against me be clothed with shame and dishonour. Let those who favour my cause rejoice and be glad. Let them say always, Great is the Lord, who delights in his servant's well-being. So shall my tongue talk of your righteousness and of your praise all the day long. Give me justice, O Lord my God, according to your righteousness. Free us, righteous God, from all oppression, and bring justice to the nations, that all the world may know you as King of kings and Lord of lords, now and for ever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our New Testament reading is from John, chapter 6, verses 60 to the end. When many of his disciples heard it, they said, This teaching is difficult. Who can accept it? But Jesus, being aware that his disciples were complaining about it, said to them, Does this offend you? Then what if you were to this then what if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life, the flesh is useless. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But among you there are some that do not believe. For Jesus knew from the first who were the ones that did not believe and who was the one that would betray him. And he said, For this reason I have told you, that no one can come to me unless it is granted by the Father. Because of this, many of his disciples turned back and no longer went about with him. So Jesus asked the twelve, Do you also wish to go away? Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom can we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. Jesus answered them, Did I not choose you the twelve? Yet one of you is a devil. He was speaking of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, for he, although one of the twelve, was going to betray him. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. You are the God of my salvation. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I, I hope all the day long. O my God, in you I trust. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. We now come to the Benedictus. I will give you shepherds after my own heart, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. 
to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. I will give you shepherds after my own heart, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. Let us pray. Father, the refrain from the Benedictus, I will give you shepherds after my own heart, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. This is our prayer today for the Diocese of Bon Pasteur in Angola. We thank you for the shepherding that Bishop Andre gave this diocese and the country of Angola for so many years. And we pray for wisdom, for justice, for discernment as the people of the Good Shepherd and the priests of the Good Shepherd begin the process of seeking a successor for Bishop Andre. Will you give them a good shepherd after your own heart, we pray? Will you give them a good shepherd who will feed them with knowledge and understanding? We thank God for our ALMA partnership that covers Angola, the four dioceses there, the eight dioceses in Mozambique and London. We are grateful for the new province of Iama. We pray for Archbishop Carlos and for Dean Augusto Domingos. Be with them in their responsibilities for the province, we pray. Will you bless them and all the bishops in our partnership? We think of Bishop Sarah in London, Bishop Rob the Alma, Bishop for London. We think of Bishop Carlos, Dean Augustus, Bishop Dean Augustus Domingos, the other Angolan bishops, Bishop Pedro Villarjamba, Bishop Joaquim Bondo, and we pray for Vicar General Philomena Tete. May they know your hand on them this day. And we pray for the other bishops in Mozambique, for Bishop Agostino, Bishop Emmanuel, Bishop Manuel, Bishop Lucas, Bishop Sergio, Bishop Vicente, Bishop Paolo. I've been trying to go round the map of Mozambique in my mind. We pray for each of them in their unique callings. And we pray for the guiding of the Spirit, for wisdom and joy across all the Alma partnership in the challenges and the changes we face as we each seek in our own context to be good news to the poor. We pray for Bishop Rob, our Alma chair, in these last few months in this role before he takes up his new role as champion of the poor as he goes to lead the Church Urban Fund. We think too, this weekend just gone, of the pilgrimage to Guambene, the birthplace of the Mozambican martyr Bernardo Mizeki. The pilgrimage had to be cancelled this year because of very severe flooding and heavy rains in the Inyumbane province. We pray for the pilgrims who were thwarted. And we remember too those who died a few years ago on the pilgrimage in that terrible accident. 
We hold before you all who are bereaved today, all who are at the end of life, whether death is sudden or the result of illness or age. May they know your presence, your light and your life with them, and your gentle guiding. May the bereaved know the everlasting arms around them. May they sense your presence, and may they know it in the witness and care of their neighbours. And as we think of that flooding in Inyambane, we're so very aware of the climate crisis that our world is facing. In so many different places, in so many different ways, weather patterns are unpredictable. Snow is happening at the wrong time, drought and floods. And we think too of the earthquake in Turkey and Syria and those who remain without shelter in terrible temperatures. Father, may we hear and respond to your call to be good stewards of our earth, your precious creation. We thank you so much for the leadership of Green Anglicans and the work of young Green Anglicans in Angola and Mozambique. We think of Erosha and their work, and we pray for all the eco-churches across the Diocese of London doing their part to stand in solidarity with those who suffer most from the impact of climate change and climate emergencies. Help us, Lord, to each do our bit to be part of the solution. To be to use our place and position to both be active and agents of advocacy and hope. And today in our London cycle of prayer, we pray for the Venerable Joanna Francisco, Archdeacon of Luanda North, and we pray for her home base, the Church of St Peter's Kazenga, which is linked with St Mary the Virgin Primrose Hill. And we pray for both these churches. We remember too the other priests at Kazenga, Simao Fernando, Manuel Suarez, Antonio Andre, and we remember M, the curate at St Peter's, at St Mary's. We remember too the health centre at St Peter's Kazenga. And we give thanks for our link parishes, and in particular today, this link. We pray for St Mary's in their interregnum. And we pray for the recently retired vicar, Marjorie Best, and for Bishop Andre. May they know your peace and your blessing in retirement. And we hold this parish and the Diocese of Good Shepherd before you, asking for your guidance. In London, we pray for St Mary's Bryanston Square, for John Peters, the rector, Matt Coombs, Christine Henderson and Sally Watson, the administrator, and the St Mary's Church of England School. We pray for the Western Eye Hospital, Frank Franklin, the lay chaplain. And in the Anglican Communion, we pray for the Diocese of Remo in Nigeria and for Bishop Michael Fape. God of peace, who gave such grace to your servant Edward King, that whomever he met, he drew to Christ. Fill us, we pray, with the tender sympathy and joyful faith, that we may also win others to know the love that passes knowledge through him who is the shepherd and guardian of our souls, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Trusting in the compassion of God, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil, for the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, 
now and forever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. It's been a real pleasure to have your company today. I hope you go on to have a very pleasant day and that you'll join us again next Wednesday. And if you're listening to this and you think, I would so love to contribute to Alma Morning Prayer, even if it's just leading the intercessions or doing one of the readings, we'd so love to hear from you because we do enjoy involving others as much as we can. Thank you so much. Have a good day.